And I do believe that we have rotten, rotten politics. And I'm, I'm not using that as an exaggeration. Hey, everyone, and welcome. In this video, we're going to be having a look at Lurgy Data, or as, as such, the hiding of Lurgy Data. Now, we all knew that this was going to be coming, where they're going to try and make it so that we can't find out the facts about what happened in the future, so that then we can't start throwing in malpractice and all of the rest of the gubbins that they're obviously terrified about. Well, this is coming out of Scotland, specifically Public Health Scotland, as they have actually said that they're not going to stop publishing Lurgy data over concerns it's being misrepresented by anti-GB jabbers. Yes, you heard that right. If the data, which is numbers, 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 is being misrepresented, I'd like to know how. What you actually mean is it's not being narrated by you. That's exactly what this means. This means that they're going to remove certain data so that it doesn't look bad for them. Am I wrong on that? Let me know if you think I'm wrong. Now, the reason they're actually doing it they're actually going to be getting rid of vaccination status for things like cases hospitalizations and deaths so now now they've actually said they're going to focus on publishing more robust and complex jibby jabby effectiveness data complex which means they think we're stupid and we're incapable of understanding complex jibby jabby effectiveness data it's just another excuse to hide the important statistics that we all need to know and we will find out in regards to hospitalization and death rates broken down by number of doses received now obviously this can be broken immediately we still have something called a freedom of information request and that can be put into public health scotland today if someone feels they wish to and they can actually make sure they have to give up this information whether they like it or not we're not going to let these people hide information from us we've not had informed consent from day one in regards to this in my honest opinion it's been that con convoluted and all all over the place the information that it was designed to confuse and now they're going to be putting out even more complex information to try and dupe you into not knowing what went on hold them to account everyone foi public health scotland anyone in scotland and you want this information that's how you do it freedom of information requests they can't refuse let me know what you think though stay sane and scotland absolutely disgraceful and you won't get away with it will be everyone see you on the next one